Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In our last video, we bought all seven safe houses. This video is all about robberies. So the final safe house that we bought uh, was the Hyman condo, but then right after I bought that one, I came over here to the Scavoli shack just to grab some drive-by ammo. You can never have too much drive-by ammo. And now we're going to head down to the southernmost, kind of almost the southernmost uh, place that you can rob here on the western island. So the basic premise with these robberies is that there are 15 specific stores, seven on the western island and eight on the eastern island, which you need to rob in order to get 100% completion. There are also cash rewards of varying amounts based on uh, how you tackle the robbery. And so I'll show you all those details here in this video. So. The first place that we're going to rob here is uh, this uh, donut shop right here. I'm going to save my game because I'm going to come back to this location. Note that in this save file, I don't have any robberies under my belt yet. And so I'm going to go rob this place and then come back and reload that save file repeatedly. Okay, so the idea is uh, you go into one of these 15 specific stores and you aim uh, any weapon. So here I'm showing you 0 out of 15 stores knocked off right there. So you aim any weapon that has a retic reticle, like that little, um, you know, that zero target, uh, that O-shaped target in the middle, uh, aim it at the uh, clerk, and then you have to wait a beat, which I didn't do there, to show you that you can't just go in guns blazing, you don't get credit for the robbery for just going in and immediately shooting the clerk. So we've reloaded the save, that uh, clerk is back in action, and now I'm going to point my reticle at him. But now I'm going to wait, and you're going to see after a moment, there's going to be some cash on the table, and we'll get a uh, wanted star, and then we'll kill him. And then we see, aha, 1 out of 15. Yeah, so to get credit, you just need to make sure that uh, at least one pile of cash is on the table. And if you look at the uh, cash that we earned, that was 50 bucks. The first pile of cash is worth $50. Now I'll fast forward through reloading the save state where, again, I haven't robbed anybody. And here we're going to wait two beats, and we'll see two piles of cash, but I'm not actually going to shoot him. I'm just going to aim away. He'll hit the alarm. I'll get a two-star wanted level. And I'll just show you that, again, I get credit for doing the robbery. So you don't actually have to kill the person to get credit. And now the cash that we get is more than 50 from before. This time it's $150. Cha-ching. Okay, let's reload where we've done no robberies. And this time we will wait three beats, and we will get three piles of cash. And in this case, we're going to find out that the total cash reward, if you wait for three piles, is $400. And for sure, you'll get a two-star wanted level if you wait for three piles of cash. But there's the 400 bucks right there. And then reload uh, one more time, just for testing purposes. And this time, we got one pile, we got two piles, and now the third pile... And now we're going to get a fourth pile, and I'm going to keep waiting, but we're not going to get any more piles. We get a three wanted star level. No more um, cash is going to show up, and no more uh, wanted stars. And in this case, the maximum cash is a thousand bucks. So that's what you can do. Um, thousand dollars if you wait for four piles of cash, and that's the most cash you can get. So here I'm showing you that you can't just point a gun at any old uh, random clerk. It's 15 specific stores. And so here I'm at the ammunition near Hyman Condo. This guy does not care at all. He has, He's uh, well armed and ready to defend himself should I actually shoot at him. But no wanted stars, no cash on the table. And uh, yeah, this guy is uh, is not in, not up for the games that I'm playing here. All right, so we're going to reload and I will tell you my challenge. My challenge is to do all seven of the robberies here on the western island consecutively and so i'm going to just go one after the other after the other i guess that's just what consecutive means uh, but i've got a couple of restrictions to try to make this a little bit more challenging for myself so number one this is going to be a non-violent collection of robberies i'm not going to shoot any ammo at the uh, clerks. I'm not going to shoot any ammo at the police that are going to be justifiably chasing me. Uh, next restriction, I need to wait until all four piles of cash are on the table and I need to grab that cash, which means I'm going to have a three star wanted level throughout this attempt because I'll get three stars here in the first door and, uh, and then the stars won't decrease at any point through my run because uh, the next restriction is that I'm not allowed to use any uh, bribe stars or clothing icons, you know, like nothing to reduce my wanted level. So just trying to survive uh, all seven robberies with maximum cash and a uh, completely non-violent attempt, as non-violent as one can be if one points guns at, at uh, random cashiers. Okay, so here is the uh, second 
location on my uh, robbery collection. And uh, the first uh, time I pointed my gun here, this guy, I was too far away, so I didn't, uh, I didn't start the, uh, the robbery. Uh, you can see that as soon as the robbery starts, their uh, body posture changes. And also, in this case, uh, the pink icon for uh, buying any of the uh, tools here in the tool shop um, disappeared. Uh, this guy is not willing to sell, sell us anything after we, uh, we point a weapon at him. Okay, so I was hoping to keep the wheels of my car intact, because that makes it a lot easier to elude the police that are after me. But, um, yeah, not going so great here. We'll just keep on keeping on. Uh, the next location in this particular order of rampages that I've chosen uh, is right here in uh, Umberto Rubina's cafe. And unfortunately, I accidentally pointed my gun at the guy and then moved the, the gun away, and he needs to pay for that. I said this was non a nonviolent attempt. I'm not going to save that attempt, so it still counts as being nonviolent. Um, yeah, so the problem there is that I accidentally pointed the gun at him and then immediately pointed away, and so he just hit the, uh, you know, the alarm, and I didn't get credit for the robbery. Okay, and the same thing's going to happen here. <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson. Different attempt, same result, uh, including that guy needing to pay. All right, so a new strategy to avoid that accidental pointing at that guy in the cafe is that uh, between robberies, I'm going to put my gun away. I'm not going to take my gun out until I'm physically in the next place that I'm going to rob. Like right here, you can see I'm pointing away intentionally so that I can uh, very slowly um, aim my reticle at the guy and not accidentally uh, pass it over him as I'm walking into the place. Okay, so uh, third time's the charm, as they say. The uh, order that uh, that I attempted here is just one that I thought was kind of like, uh, you know, like efficient in terms of uh, distance traveled around the map here on the Western Island for the robberies. I will include a link to a uh, robbery map for the Western Island in the video description below so you can check it out. And uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and read uh, some stuff from the wiki. Uh, it says that uh, robberies are a feature in the GTA series involving the theft of money from selected stores or businesses. Robbery of businesses has been a staple element of specific missions in the series since the very first game, but the ability to rob a specific business at any moment of the game was only introduced in Vice City. It resurfaces in Vice City Stories, GTA 4, GTA 5, and GTA Online. All right, so uh, then it repeats some of the stuff that I said about there's 15 total, and it's required for the 100% completion. It talks about the varying cash amounts, um, and then it makes a recommendation that maybe uh, you can uh, do some robberies that are near each other kind of consecutively, um, and it also points out, uh, as opposed to like doing one robbery and then going back to a safe house or trying to lose your wanted level. Um, and then it mentions that uh, at the end of any rampage, your wanted level is instantly cleared once you pass that rampage. Uh, we'll do rampages in uh, coming videos pretty soon. And so the wiki offers what I think is some pretty good advice is that uh, if there's a rampage uh, icon near a robbery that you're going to do, then maybe you do the robbery, which will give you like a one, two or three star wanted level. And then you just immediately head over to the rampage where you'll you know, of course, you'll have to do the rampage with a one, two, or three star wanted level, but doing rampages generally gives you wanted stars anyway, so uh, probably not making the rampage that much harder. And then once you pass the rampage, well, that's sort of an easy way to uh, get rid of the wanted level. It just happens automatically when you pass. Okay, so here I went in very slowly, desperate to avoid that ugly tracksuit that I wasn't thrilled to be wearing for a bunch of episodes of this series already. So here, the laundromat, uh, the fourth uh, robbery location on our journey around uh, the... Uh, the robberies here in West Point, sorry, the Western Island. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, seven robberies here and, uh, and eight robberies over on the, uh, the Eastern Island. So let's head north and then over to the main uh, road on the east of this island and uh, and then keep heading north to the uh, the next location on our trip. The wiki continues and, and has information about robberies in the other games, so we're not going to talk about those details here uh, in this video. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, I've rated everything that we've done so far, so I guess it's a good time to rate uh, robberies. So uh, my current stance on robberies is that they're pretty fun. You know, sort of a uh, like a canonical GTA activity is to is to break a law like robbing somebody. Uh, <clears throat> most robberies, I'm assuming, are not this um, nonviolent uh, technique that I'm applying here for this uh, challenge video. Uh, so you know, like shooting people is also part of the GTA fun, and, and you get cash and and you have to evade the police. So yeah, pretty good. You know, like it's got like uh, most of the uh, kind of common GTA uh, elements. So we'll give the uh, the robberies an eight out of 10. That said, 
and I find them quite straightforward now that I'm a little bit better at the game than I was when I uh, when I started playing 10 years ago. But that said, I'll, I'll say that my experiences with robberies were not nearly as positive 10 years ago as, uh, as they are now. Uh, recall that uh, my first experience is playing Vice City, uh, actually first experience is playing any GTA game, because this was my first GTA game, were on the Kindle Fire HD, which is a small tablet produced by Amazon. I doubt that they still make it. This thing is ancient by today's standards. But anyway, that meant that the controls were all touchscreen. I didn't have like a Bluetooth controller, and I don't even think it would have been compatible if I did. And so all of the stuff that required precise controls was much, much harder. Uh, here's the dispensary. Uh, empty. I need I need a guy in there. All right, so I changed my order on the spur of the moment just because the, uh, the cashier didn't spawn. So we'll head uh, just a little bit north here to the jewelry stop, jewelry shop. And again, careful not to accidentally aim my gun at him as I'm walking in by uh, having my fist uh, active as I walk into the store. All right, and then after we do this uh, sixth penultimate uh, robbery here, we'll uh, head back south and hope that that cashier has spawned. And that'll be the, uh, the seventh and final one if he's there. So yeah, so doing the robberies was very difficult for me because uh, I would, you know, oftentimes accidentally, um, you know, aim away uh, from the cashier while I was pointing my gun at him because of the imprecise touch controls on my, uh, on my tablet screen. And, um, and then also I, you know, had a devil of a time escaping the police again with touch controls. So yeah, it was not a lot of fun. I remember it, it felt like a, very much like a chore, uh, when I was doing the robberies, um, 10 years ago, but, but now they're, they're pretty fun and, uh, and straightforward now that I've got uh, keyboard and mouse controls. Okay. So this guy, uh, decided to uh, finally show up for work at about noon. Uh, I'm going to write a complaint to uh, his manager, just let them know that I'm unhappy. I was not, uh, I was not served uh, when I uh, when I first got to the store. Okay, so we've got a very much broken down uh, police car. I said this was a nonviolent attempt, uh, and I just accidentally ran over a police officer. I'm gonna, uh, in my own head cannon, say that that guy survived with minor injuries. I I don't have evidence that he was dead. So, um, just uh, heading to the uh, Hyman condo to save my game uh, and uh, and call this challenge done. But first, uh, just I'll, I'll go up on the roof and grab some ammo. Um, and that will also uh, allow me to refill my armor. And then, uh, and I'm going to grab the minigun. Uh, that'll be my replacement here. And then uh, I walked into the uh, shirt icon, expecting it would reduce my... Uh, my um, wanted level and it didn't and it's supposed to uh, and i think it's probably just not active yet because i'm not supposed to have access to the clothing icon uh just yet um so saving the game doesn't uh lose the stars but reloading the game will so now we have no stars legitimately so yeah the clothing icon is not supposed to be there until uh you've passed the first ken rosenberg mission the party and that will be the next mission that we do in this series when we eventually start doing missions but um, maybe maybe even though the icon is there and even though it actually does change my outfit, like if I were wearing the track outfit, it would have been replaced by the blue Hawaiian shirt. Uh, but maybe it's just uh, not programmed to work yet in terms of reducing the wanted level since we haven't passed, passed that Ken mission. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the stats menu and uh, show you the uh, 7 out of 15. That's what we accomplished. All 7. Challenge complete. And then the last thing I'll demonstrate is that you can go in and re-rob a store that you've already robbed, and you will get cash, and you will also get uh, wanted level. So I'll, uh, I'll let four piles of cash uh, go onto the table here. Um, and then I'll show the stats menu one last time, and you'll see that we are still at 7 out of 15. So you can re-rob for cash, uh, but, uh, but uh, it doesn't increase your, um, your uh, statistic for stores knocked off. Uh, so here it is, uh, still 7 out of 15, and then I'll just show you the save state that we'll reload from, the one that we made up at the Hyman condo. I'm not going to save here in the in the jeweler's shop. If you have uh, memories you'd like to share about uh, your experience with robberies, put them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.